I'm gonna go for it. I think Bran Mutanis would be too greedy. Let's just go. Eat the Kazakasan, please. Thank you, please. Thank you. Hey, buddy, watch this. So this is the latest look at Control Warrior, the newly buffed Kazakasan world, running things like Amalgam of the Deep and Onyxian Drake, of course, and even a raid boss, Onyxia, to empower your Kazakasan, all supported by a Control Warrior shell. You got brawls. You got rankers, you got armor gain, you got removal, you got a brand in here for shenanigans. Stack can do a little bit of everything. And uh, this is currently looking like the best control win rate deck over the last day since the patch. Although, of course, that'll update. There'll be refinements and such. But this should be a good answer to Demon Hunter, which we've seen is everywhere at certain uh, portions of the meta. In fact... It's even in most portions of the meta, if we look right here. Um, over the last one day, Naga Demon Hunter is up to 32% of decks at Diamond 1. But as you'll see across the board, outrageously popular. Even more popular now than Pirate Warriors or Ramp Druids, which both lost a little bit of popularity in the nerf. So theoretically, this deck should be a great way to counter the Naga Aggro Demon Hunters. So here we go. Rogue, okay. This is a new matchup. This might be my last game, by the way, guys. Uh, might be my last game. This is really good against Rogue Pirate boards, but if I don't get armor, it may not be worth it. That said, I'm going to keep it just in case. Hook Tusk is actually probably an issue for me still. I don't know if I can beat a Hook Tusk easily. Oh my, okay. <laughs> I guess we got the armor we needed. <laughs> All right. Cool. Kazakasan in hand. That's scary against Hook Tusk, maybe. Axe is great to have. Okay. This will always make sure this is kind of good to go. So. What are we afraid of Hook Tusk? Stealing treasures from my deck. Uh, if I put treasures in my deck, Hook Tusk could steal five treasures from my deck and then have equal or better cards, right, in some cases. And I would also be, like, fatiguing sooner in that case. But we don't necessarily have to play this pre-Hook Tusk, so we can just wait, maybe? It depends on how desperate I am or, you know, what the game looks like. But probably we can just wait. I don't feel a ton of urgency just yet or anything. Feels like a pretty good shield slam. Do we trade the heavy play? I have another one. Nah, I think I got enough stuff to do. We draw here. We can play this next turn. We got a good seven drops. Like, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Armor might be pretty important. They don't run dragons, so Kazakhstan is dead for them too, right? Pick me, pick me. Uh, you mean if they were to steal it out of my hand? Yeah, probably would be hard to activate, yeah. It's really the deck thievery. That, that's why I'm saying if we, if we wait, I think we'll be okay. Gosh, that's actually kind of a pain, isn't it, man? Look at this guy. What is this? What is this? Is this the shield chatter? It feels too early. I don't think it is. Let's wait. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Mm, hit it very hard to kill that, maybe? I kind of don't hate it. I do want it to die. Pick me, pick me. I draw a card still. Shield side. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, looking like we're lining up a pretty good shield shatter board soon. What on earth? Prospector's Caravan. Okay. That's... <laughs> kind of wacky i mean this isn't the best i wish i had a ranker right ranker would be the real play here they might trade this off though and stuff although this looks like it wants to hit the 5-4 usually although i don't think they had a pirate they seem to be delaying as if they didn't hit a pirate here right i think they whiffed i think they whiffed and they whiff oh yeah they are trading okay did they whiff wow I mean, they may have had a choice. Maybe it was, you know, more of a choice than a whiff, but either way. 
think we count that a small victory. Uh, do we Rokara then just to deny this and get a Rokara set up? Probably. Could go for a Shield Sam. Could go for a Nelly, but then there's like some downside. Nelly will be fine later too. That big one damage hit to face. That's not a card I think you want to leave though, right? Like getting, uh... There's no way to hover over that and read the text. Anyway, oh, there it is. Uh, you don't want them to have a bunch of hand buffs, I think. Hmm. Okay, we can just throw away a shield slam or something for this, I guess. Actually, not too hard to kill either, but uh, then I have to kind of throw away a weapon charge, so. If it's spell, then we can play Nelly. If it's not spell, it's dead, and then we just play Nelly again. Uh, either way, it works, right? Uh, actually, hand is a little full for Nelly now that I think about it. Uh, maybe we play Mutanus then. That's fine. We'll empty some hand space later. For now, Mutanus seems good. Eat a hook, Tusk, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> Not a hook, Tusk, but very interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Reno Rogue makes sense looking at it in hindsight. Maybe that's why they missed the swordfish. Less pirates. Uh, some weird choices like school teacher. That all adds up, dude. Wow, I love it. That's fun. All right, Nelly Hero Power probably next turn is going to be fine. It's going to be super fine. What does this have? Reconnaissance? Oh, that's good for Zola. That's sick. Not a high main quite level here, though. It's not a bad weapon target. Ping the 2 2. Do we start hitting face for 8? Like. I don't really care about a 4-3, do I? Oh, dude, his Ranker just really good, too, though. Ranker's pretty dang good. Ranker on Nixian Drake. It's pretty dang good, dude. Oh, I can't do a Nixian Drake. Ranker Amalgam? <laughs> Seems bad. Maybe just Ranker Heavy Plate just to fill the mana a little bit? I don't think I'm going to get a better Ranker than this is the thing, right? Like... Yeah, let's just kill this and yeah, I think that's fine. Heavy plate's fine. We got the other heavy plate if I need somehow an emergency armor armor pump for shield shatter, but I, I just don't think Ranker ever gets better than that. Unlikely to have a, a wide board of two minus stuff. So we're looking pretty good. 45 health. A lot of value in hands. Not a lot of Kasakis on action yet, but that can come later. Oh, that's good. That's got like a high main and like... Misha, that's good, dude. Shield Shatter is really nice there, though. Uh, Shield Shatter now hits the Mutanus, though, unfortunately. I don't want to play the Drake into the Shield Shatter, do I? No, this is still better. It's fine. Just Nelly here. Ping and Nelly is totally, totally fine. It's a good opportunity to play the Nelly. Hands a little emptier. Oh, uh, he's big and bad. I like that. Oh, he's big. And uh, this makes them both bigger. Nice. Big boys. Yeah, this looks pretty good. 49 health. Crazy value off Nelly here. Oh! Not crazy value off Nelly, although I could just replay the Nelly. Uh, replaying the pirate ship's not going to feel particularly exciting, I guess. I actually kind of need my AoE back, man. This is a good little board. <gasps> they have like burst smite stuff next turn. That could be fun. Making a really cheap setup here. Well, with no AOE, I guess we just go Nelly again. It's not really hurt anything. Probably heavy plate. I don't have a lot of activators left. Like things that need the armor immediately. Uh, Gangplank's Big. I mean, these do activate Kazakus on those. Maybe that's a little better for us. Smite again. I'm not too full of a hand, though, man. I don't know if this is actually all that good. Uh, Scoundrel's the best in regards to Smite, but, yeah, kind of gives them stuff. Yeah, I guess I get the Nelly cards here, but might burn off the top. 57 life. Late night Regis, I like it. Yeah, you got lucky. I was going to stream the day today, but my internet wasn't working all night last night when I was trying to work on videos. I was troubleshooting it, like, 
two in the morning, three in the morning. So I ended up sleeping in the afternoon instead of uh, stone stone, instead of streaming. But I got the internet working, so that's good. Uh, no, this should not have pirates in it. It's it's kind of reset after moving back to hand. It's just a measly five mana two six. Huh. I guess I've never seen this before, but it 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 gained stats after being silenced. It silenced off the stats and it regained them. The the battle cry makes it more like an aura than like uh, an enchantment. It makes sense actually. It tracks. It's kind of cool. I just never thought about it before. Uh, unfortunately, I just do not have good removal here, man. Discover a beast? I mean, I guess a Drake deals with the scariest Let's stuff. See. Ping deals with a lot too. Um, okay, well, it's fine. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> I mean, this is a little greedy, right? I feel like this lines me up for this Kazakhstan a little more. Although, I don't know, man, I have this already, so I can get another cheap one maybe. Need to find another cheap uh, dragon here. Yeah, fairy dragon's good. I don't play it this turn because pink's too good, but uh, next turn. The good news is even though they built like a really solid board there, it, uh, it doesn't matter. Pretty sure it's not intended? No, I think it is. I mean, it makes sense. The, the Edwin plays a battle cry that becomes uh, like an, a game state, right? It's like the battle cry is activated and then Edwin gets buffed off the battle cry. That's why he gets buffed in hand as well. Cause it's it's like queuing up this thing that says, this is now what's happening. The minion on board being silenced, it doesn't matter. It's still affected by the thing that lives outside of the minion. It, it created this aura, this game state. I don't know if this, this is probably not the most effective, <laughs> probably not the most effective way to describe that, but you know, whatever. All right, let's get some treasures in here. We don't have to worry about fatigue with two of these bad boys, so let's just get good cards rolling. Uh, I like boombots. Yeah, boombots are big, cool, and good. Collections, boombots, cool, but man, yeah, split's probably handier. Even with just like a Nelly, it's actually pretty gross. Just a lot of big taunts. Book of the Dead's amazing. Ah, uh, Krusty for emergencies is fine. Canopic Jar's boombots is cool, but I think it's a little greedy. I think we could end the game better other ways. They do have some Colossals, so I'm happy to have Book and uh, Krusty for that. Oh! Oh! No! No! <laughs> no! Don't take my Boombots! Gosh dang it, dude. I might actually be in a bit of a pickle here. I didn't get good AoE other than Book. Um... Does this work, guys? I can't target this with battle cries, right? This doesn't work, right? It doesn't work. This is kind of the worst draw then. <sighs> wow, I'm like actually kind of screwed here a little bit. I need to put book at the top. There's no way this is actually 11. I don't know why it says 11. What What are these? Oh, oh, it's going to, it's 14 minus three. Okay, yeah. Embers is not it yet though. Uh, I think we just take a pass turn here, right? I can play a Nelly, just stall them out a little bit. That's fine. Next turn we'll have Book Krusty. Nelly just buys me six health, maybe. Maybe eight if they're feeling fancy. Uh, okay. Parlay, dude. <laughs> Completely insane, dude. Kaz replace? Yeah, he replaces. He creates a deck. Can you not crab her really? I, I, Krusty her? I, I don't think so. Krusty's what you mean, but no, I, you can't target a mean. I think even battle cries you can't. I, I, I guess I don't really do it much with battle cries. It's always spells you try to hit her with, but I think you just can't target her. It just like won't let you. And I was actually scared to even test because I don't know if I can pull him back. I think I might have had to. Oh no. Dang it. It's actually bad because now I can't kill Onyxia easily. Shoot, dude. This guy is memeing on me right now. He's actually just memeing on me. <sighs> Do I ever play the other Kazakasan? It's too early, right? I can't. 
Thank God I have a lot of time for this. Embers is actually pretty legit against Onyxia, but so is Book of the Dead hero power. And Book of the Dead's better against other board states, right? So I, th I think we take Book of the Dead here, don't we? I mean, what's on the top? Maybe like Krusty. I don't know. Book of the Dead seems the safest. Embers is just lethal. Well, no, because they could play more minions. I'm not getting it now. It's going to the top. It's going to the top. If I got it now, yeah, Embers would be nuts, but it, it's not. It, it goes to the top. I get it next turn. Next turn, they may have way more stuff on board, right? Now, I do kind of waste the discounts from, from this, but... Uh, might be safer to go here just in case I need to ping another big minion next turn. I don't expect that, but you never know. So let's just be safe. Can always get the ping face next turn if needed. Um, okay, that's a lot of damage again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's big damage, but whatever. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Do I re Kazakus on here? There's there's two reasons to do it, right? Number one, it's an 8-8 on board, and that sets up lethal next turn. Number two is I think I can get better top decks. I have two embers. Banana splits are pretty bad. Krusty's. I think I redo it. I still have a four card fatigue advantage. I think the 8 8 on board setting up lethal is really good. Did they forget to attack with Anixia? Dude, that visual bug, it, it causes so many problems. I have the same thing. Oh, this is really good. First damage now is pretty insane. Canopic jars can be really good, but it's hard for me to play two cards at once. I think I'd really just rather have a clockwork. A weapon might be really good for me too, by the way. Oh, pure cold's really good. That's lethal. Hilt's not a weapon. A crusty, I guess. And Anoyo certainly stretches the game out. Okay. So let's set up the lethal here. Some good top decks now too. Four of our 10 top decks are just lethal as well. well actually books one off, I guess, but still very good card. Oh, there's the clear. Okay, sure. Crusty this, we get crusty. Clockwork here would be pretty bad, actually. A little field work. Clockwork would be bad. If we got clockwork here, I'd ping face to set up the Book of the Dead lethal. Your cold is lethal, though. Nice. Scary game, dude. That kind of got scary late. That mutant has shifted the game quite a bit, I felt like. And on Nixia, too. They had a lot of late game depth as a Reno deck, so it, it, it actually took us some work to get there, you know? That was cool. Good game, well played from them. Fun game. Illidan. Oh, this is the matchup we're looking for. We want to. We want to fight Illidans. Yes. Uh, I, now, now that I say that though, I don't actually. <laughs> this thing has a really strong win rate against Illidans, but I don't know how exactly. Look, looking at it, right? Is it? You know, because Ranker's not that good against their stuff, but I think we do look for Rankers. Maybe some shield blocks. Okay, school teachers are. I mean, they're okay, I guess. Yeah. My blood boils for war. Shield shatter is pretty okay, but it's gonna be a little hard to use. I think I coin a school teacher, right? The five four can test fairly well. I'm worried about um, Drekthar still, though. I don't mind ship damage. I care more about board threat, so I'm happy to see the chaos strike. Actually, it seems good. Uh, Brawl seems good too, as a as a release valve of sorts. Jokes on you, it's a rogue. <laughs> I think we'd be okay against rogue too, honestly. I, I would I would I would be okay with a rogue. Yeah, school teacher here looks good. I think we're looking for anything that's like removal or life gainy, shield slams, bash is pretty good actually. Bash is maybe the best possible playoff school teacher, if I really think about it. Uh, these aren't it. I mean, execute theoretically, but kind of hard to use often. This 5-4, though, just contests well here. That's nice. They may feel a little pressure to kill this. Although that looks like a pretty dang easy way to kill this, unfortunately. <clears throat> and they get to hit me for four simultaneously. That's pretty gross. Actually, eight. That's so gross, dude. Man, how am I favored against this matchup? This seems so terrible. I'm <laughs> getting murdered. <laughs> Is this legit favored? I don't understand, man. I'm getting absolutely just shredded right now. Do I have to shield block here, or can I risk another another turn? Oh my god, dude. Uh, I, I, this feels awful. This feels awful. Guard the City's really good. 
So, I mean, shield block, guard the city is eight armor. I wouldn't have enough to shield shatter. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what is happening? Can I risk just the guard the city here into Drake? I, I think so. I think so. Two taunts. Clear the board. I think so. I think two taunts is, is sufficient. Multi-strike even is fine because there's two taunts. Next turn, shield. Oh, God. Don't multi-strike me, please, dude. I'm going to be very angry. I guess they lose five on the second multi-strike, though, so that'd be okay. That'd be okay. Okay, man. Now we shield block. We, I guess, amalgam, or I guess I need the hero power too, though. Nelly is actually pretty good next turn because of the taunt. Uh, let's hero power. Do I ever tempo a one-one? Any questions? I think this one-one's pretty good at activating and execute, so no. Okay. 14's solid. 14's solid. I like 14 a lot more than 4. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, Drake again feels pretty good too, I think. Because of the taunt. Uh, that said, they don't seem to have anything to hit. So maybe we go Nelly for the taunt in that case. Downside with Nelly is I'm unable to play anything else with it. Could go shield block instead here. I mean, shield block on Ixie and Drake's kind of like a Nelly, but I get the shield block, right? I think that's a little safer. I don't really have to kill stuff right now. Uh, can I ever, like, turn the corner here and go face? Soon. They're going to be, like, a nine. Yeah, th this feels a little safer. It's not like I desperately need the shield same, right? So let's just play this taunt instead. That way I have taunt and health, which feels like it goes a little further, right? These can go together next turn now, too. Maybe respond and taunt again, if needed. Okay, it's unfortunately a lot of damage, but I think I might have been dead here if I just played Nelly, right? Okay, Frozen Buckler's kind of good. I mean, Nelly seems kind of safe, but I I got a I think I got a Buckler, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nervous, man. I need I want to like Nelly and Hero Power at the same time, or maybe like Nelly maybe Buckler maybe. later at the same time. No, 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 no. I'm not expecting a lot of rush like face attacks here usually, right? Sometimes they do have that that uh, three dropping thing. Can't he potentially hit you twice with multi strike honorable kill? I don't know. I, I can't really play around that. If you can, what's what's it matter? <sighs> Baba Naga is actually like decent damage, isn't it? It's a board pressure card too, but I, I sort of want a hero power every time. Well, I've got this like dilemma right now where I'm close to ending on face damage and I'm close to being dead. So like, which do I prioritize, right? Put your nuked up, small brain. Puffer Fist? There is no fury. fury. There's no measure to my fury! Okay. Fell Barrage to hit the minions. Okay. The second Fell Barrage. Sure. How do I legit have no good plays? I mean, Sir Finley gives you like Rokara. It's, it's heavy play. Sir Finley's got to be the play, right? These suck. There's so many more good plays on the bottom of my deck, I bet. Not always those, but you know, that kind of stuff. Frozen Buckler's awesome. Heavy play's awesome. Rokara's awesome. I mean, I think Rokara's enough, right? Oh, Rokara Shield Slam's definitely enough. Okay. I mean, I don't know about definitely. I should never say definitely, but, you know, it, it, it certainly feels like better play. I guess if they have a Jace, I don't, I don't see Jace a lot, though. Almost ever, actually, but 
That would be their best damage output. Could that get them there? Probably. Probably, honestly. I wonder if it's ever better to go Heavy Plate, Buckler, Shield Slam instead. This sets up the lethal. Would it have anyway if I'd gone, like, with weapon? That would have been what? I, already, I only had eight mana. No, I think this was the best, best out. Woo! Dude. <laughs> this is like a really favored matchup. We're supposed to beat this deck, and we did. I mean, we did stabilize as as promised, you know? Oh, wait, dude, no way. Uh, oh, that's so <laughs> It's like, wait a minute now, wait a minute. No way, dude. We did, it delivered, but boy, was it hair raising. I didn't feel comfy during it, I'll have to say. Man, it felt a little iffy. Okay, another demon. Oh, Ranker seems like a really good anti-demon hunter card, actually. Especially if they get the, like, token start. I can just wipe out that entire 1-1 uh, and 2-2 two -two board all at once and, like, set myself up with a billion health, right? Could easily get, like, 10, 12, 14 health. Now, they don't always go for that opener, so, you know, not guaranteed, I guess, but... Often they play it here, make dudes, attack again the turn after, make dudes. Oh yeah, baby. Those are the dudes. Those are the dudes. All right, that's what we wanted to see. That's what we were looking for, baby. Sometimes they'll even play a second one of these and, and do it again. Three health is worth, so they make a three health minion, but that's fine. We'll take that, we'll take it. Yeah, we, we're gonna get five dudes. I'm happy. I'll take five dudes all day. <sighs> right now. I don't want to greed and wait or anything. It's on curve. It's perfect. We take this. We're happy. We got a billion health. We're good. We're good. 10's good. 10, 12, 14, like we said, right? That's the goal. All right. So next turn we go. School teacher, maybe hit the one drop if it makes sense. Uh, turn six. Doesn't really go on yet. Thinly might be the play. That's pretty low impact. That's nice. Low damage there. We're looking for here like a bash. Maybe shield blocked again. It's pretty good. Uh, Whirlwind? Or I guess Man the Cannons is even better. I lose my dude, but I soften that up. Well, actually, do I even care about softening that up, though? Actually, do I even take Ice Blood Garrison? Because I don't care about my 1-1. I don't really care about this taking damage, but it, it's, a, it's a persistent removal. Hmm. That discourages future future stuff. Yeah, I think we take Garrison. I don't mind my stuff getting hit. Pick me, pick me. And softening up their stuff over multiple turns, or just outright like denying another battle worn vanguard, right? Could be pretty good. This does open this up to predation, I guess, but I don't think that's that meaningful. What have you sacrificed? What have you sacrificed? Uh, those are actually kind of a pain for me right now. I need like an Onyxian Drake. I need like uh, an Onyxian Drake still. Yeah, Hero Power Drake would be good. Oh, Shield Slam, same story. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and Buckler here. Just weave it in. I'm going to play Nelly next turn. We should be fine to play the Nelly. Get a little bonus damage by leaving a minion alive, but what can I do? We're at 45, so we got some, we got some time. We got windows here. It's a good draw, though, man. They're bringing the heat still. Post Nelly, I, I am a little stuck. I might have to Finley, right? Depends on what minions I get, how good they are, how reactive they are, that sort of stuff. We want, like, Smite, maybe, like, 4-6 guy, Anchorman guy. That sort of stuff, right? It's not a bad backup plan. Gangplank Diver's a little slow. Multicaster does draw cards, right? Well, at the moment, I've played Frost only. I'm not really ever going to have played Fire. I think that's too slow, though. I think I like Multicaster better. So many choices. Fingerman's awesome to trade. And Freebooter probably gives me the most reactivity, right? So we'll take that. It's really not the dream. Really not the dream. Also, I have to say our objective wasn't really all that good. It <laughs> didn't really do much. I guess this is two attack, which opens up that freebooter hit. That might be something. Two health, I mean. Searching. 
so Forge and Flame. I mean, I, I might just play the Forge and Flame just to activate the multicaster, right? If I have mana. It's not really going to hurt anything. Each scar, a foe. Oh, he was holding that in hand, though. So maybe it actually did do something. Maybe it disrupted, right? That's got some value, I guess. Okay. Shield slam is interesting. Oh, it won't let you. You can't play it. Oh, that's sad. I didn't know that. Mega sad, dude. Still worth playing, I'm sure, but... Uh... Well, I'll, I'll wait a turn. I'm not really in a hurry. Shield Slam here? Worth it? There aren't a lot of targets left. I guess, like, uh, Kurtris stuff? I don't I don't think it is worth it. Let's just play this. I'll just trade into this. I don't need the 5-3 to be doing anything significant here. Okay. So, yeah, we've gotten through some pretty notable threats. Already a Bone Glaive. Kurtris is down. Puffer Fist is down. One Predation down. And we're still 36 with a major board advantage. Uh, obviously going to have a higher quality hand here. We're in a good spot. My blood boils Real more. good spot. Why can't you play there? I'll never stop searching. I don't know what that means, Tarokian. I feel like you left out a word. Like, why can't you play blank there? I don't know what word you meant to include. <laughs> Your message just says, why can't you play there? I wish I knew. How did you play here? <laughs> I don't know again. Yeah, I wish I knew. All right, this seems like the corner has been sufficiently turned. This felt like the game I was expecting, right? That last one we just barely skated by. Uh, this one skated by, sc scooted by, we barely scraped by. This one felt like we were in control the whole time, right? This felt much, much better. Probably just drop on Nixia honestly now and start looking to flip the game in an even more favorable direction, I think. Although, I don't know, this is Puffer Fist actually gonna clean up some stuff. The dual attack here is pretty nice. I mean, I have enough health. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine on Nixie, I guess. This, this goes face always, right? Clear this. I'm left to trade into these. Oh, no, you hit the minion. Wow, okay. Oh, never mind. You don't. <laughs> never mind. I'm still at 30 after all that's what's crazy, right? That's what's really nuts about it. Uh, yeah, this is on Nixie. It's fine. We have plenty of health to risk the Onyxia here. That sets up the counter pressure board to win. Really good spot. Oh god, I didn't make it symmetrical. Forgive me, please. Please, God, forgive me. Please. Hey, Warshack, dude, thanks for the raid, man. Just in time to watch a demon hunter scoot out. I don't think I can beat pirates, so... At least I don't feel confident doing it. But from the depths might be the way to do it if we do. Let's get, like, a crazy early Nelly or something. Early, early raid boss. That sort of thing. Are you hoping for more Highlander cards? Absolutely, for sure. Yeah, I, I think we'll get some too. I don't think you put Reno in just as a tease. I mean, I guess there is that theory about the uh, like thematic League of Explorers stuff. Uh, maybe like, you know, Finley's in this expansion and like Reno's in the next one. So they wanted to include the base versions. Maybe that's why he's there and it's not a Highlander tease. But I like to think it's both, you know. I like the notion that it's both. So this would make a four mana Nelly or Rokara if I hit it. I mean, this doesn't appear to be pirates, so I don't necessarily have to hurry here. We could just play for Kazakasan, but this is still a really powerful card. Oh, gross. These aren't good. Forge and Flame with Outriders is, is kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah, we want to get to Kazakasan ASAP, I guess. So maybe this is the way to do that. It's kind of a gap turn, though. Maybe I take the shield block for now. I don't know. That didn't feel good, though. Did not feel particularly good. Uh, I mean, school teachers are great in this matchup. Just stuff to play, things to do, but... Oh, the other axe. Okay. It's fine. 
teacher, teacher, axe, axe. Am I? Oh, it's, it wasn't the axe at the bottom. It was the forged and flame at the bottom. I was like, am I, am I insane? I thought this was at the bottom, dude. Do we ever, like, read the brand here? No, I don't think that's the right kind of value. I think getting to Kazakasan is the right kind of value. I think card draw into dragons is the way to go. I think Kazakasan wins the game, right? Uh, Sleepy Yash, dude, thanks for the prime sub. Sockman with the prime sub. I run too fast with a gifted sub and the tier one sub. Amazing, guys. Wow. Out of nowhere, dude. Pumping the hype train. <laughs> Just out of thin air. Uh, never AFK2 with 2,000 bits, man. Thank you. It's really nice. Now, Bran Amalgam feels a little better to me, I'll be honest. That can turn into some pretty big value plays, right? Anybody? Shield Slam seems pretty relevant. Total life gain probably doesn't matter a lot here, but removal certainly can. Okay. Espresso Rat, dude, thanks for the 100 minutes. That's nice. Thank you. Oh, wow, that's a pretty big commitment there. I'm cool with that. All right, we're chilling. Really just don't have enough dragons yet, but I need to, I, I want these to be dragons. I need to hit my Nixie and Drake soon. Might just go ahead and Mutanus on seven, right? I just haven't played this mirror match at all to really know what's the right move. Oh, they've got more dragons. I like that. That's a cool dragon to have. I'm going to go for it. I think Bran Mutanus would be too greedy. Let's just go. Eat the Kazakasan, please. Thank you, please. Thank you. It's good to be good. Pretty good to be good. <laughs> so, okay. I think we probably just win now. I don't know. I haven't played this, but it feels like we just win now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, obviously, they have other things that could maybe fall behind to an Onyxia or something, but it, it sure feels like we just win now. True, he could get another from an Amalgam. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so maybe we don't win now. Maybe he gets it from Amalgam. That's a good thought. I like that, that, that you're thinking about ways to win. Makes sense to me. Really valued the minion here over their health, which that, that certainly makes sense as well. Um, what does this have? Shield Slam? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a dragon on these amalgams and try to play that way instead for the Bran. I mean, with two of them, I could technically try to hit more dragons that way. I guess I'm really not in as much of a hurry anymore. I will say that. Uh, hand size isn't an issue yet. Let's wait on that just in case. Yeah, hand size is a thing. Speed, if they get an Amalgam, could be a thing. I almost wonder if they're running Azerdrakes instead of Amalgams, but I don't know. It feels like that's unlikely to me. What's your last? What's your last? Man, stuff's going to be free down there, isn't it? Ugh. Going to draw whatever I grab here. Forged and Flame? Like, man, I already have so much stuff at guard draw. I'm even gonna take those. Brawl doesn't seem very good. Okay. I don't even really have to worry about fatigue with Kazakasan. I just kinda have the the lines here right now. I gotta say, by the way, I'm about to pee my pants. I forgot to pee before this game. I drank a whole diet Mountain Dew. I just dropped the, I just dropped the lid on the ground. Got problems, guys. <laughs> I got problems over here, guys. I got some real problems. I may have to take a pee break this game, dude. I don't know. Ooh, Kazakhstan. Okay. So let's just go on Ixia. Hopefully, a whelp lives for the brand stuff. It's not really honestly that likely to live. I think there's a pretty good chance it dies, but that's the best dragon I have at the moment without any Onyxian drakes. So favorite deck of all favorite drink of all time? I I don't know, man. I used to love Fruitopia when I was a young man. I used to love Fruitopia. You remember those drinks? I don't know if they still make that. I don't think they do. It's probably nice to shield slam. Oh, or an Onyxian. Okay, sure. I think it's Ranker Shield Slam here. 
Ooh, that's what we needed. Nice. We'll do that next turn. I'm gonna take a pee break though, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be in a little bit. I gotta pee though. I'll be right back. Oh, I'll hurt. Oh my god, I almost missed hero power. I, I got back just in time to hero power. Oh my god, I'm gonna say sorry. Whoops. That's not right. I didn't mean to be in, but I wasn't gonna be able to play this out without it. <laughs> it's, gonna, <laughs> it's gonna have a bigger problem than than a lost Kazakistan, right? Um. Okay, if I go Drake here, I actually don't even really need the Bran. It's sort of too much mana. I think I just saved Bran for like Nelly later. Let's just get the Kazakistan ready to go. Sure. It's a good card. Uh, pff, sure. That's <laughs> a good card too. All right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, that's even good if they have Mutanus, right? I'm hedging against their Mutanus now with a second Kazakasad. That was all the way they pulled back into this game. Yeah, the new voice lines for, for Leroy, I, I can't say I was a big fan either. I mean, I, I you know, I don't want to besmirch the voice actor. I'm sure they did a fine job. I mean, they were into it and stuff. It just didn't really sound like Reno in my head. So I will say it, it also felt like a mismatch to me as well. All right, let's go for one of these bad boys. Feels like this is a fine time. We'll draw one immediately. Uh, I mean, just good stuff here is the plan. Book of the Dead is almost certainly going to be active and good. I mean, holy books, a threat. Do I really need Hyper Blaster? Probably not. They're not got a lot of threats left, right? Flexions, shenanigans are fun always. Krusty's fun. Embers is burst damage. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Reflections is good. Are they anything cool for Bran? Not really, I guess. No. Krusty is kind of cool. He works like, like you think, right? He gains the double. He doesn't destroy it twice, I guess, but he gains the double, right? <laughs> Right. I love that they're sticking in here, man. I love that they're giving it a go. Like, can't hurt. Maybe try for it, you know? Oh, Ivan's is big. That's cool. Would be a good crusty for me, wouldn't it? Book of the Bro. Maybe I try to hit Krusty here, huh? I mean, Onyxie is also just quite good. Maybe that's fine. Feels weird not playing the Kasakhstan cards, but... Let's not get too fancy. I've had two Onyxias, two Kazakasans. Like, man, I feel bad. We ate their Kazakasan on probably like a one in four, one in five. It wasn't even that likely. And then uh, people underestimate Staff of Scales. Do they? I feel like it's really good. Are you saying I underestimated it here? I just don't need that kind of card, right? I have lots of ways to remove things. I have tons of removal already available. I mean, I didn't know I was going to have... Well, no, I knew I was going to have this. So it's just kind of excessive for us, but... I love Staff of Scales. I think it's awesome. Uh, do we just go Shield Shatter Embers here? How much damage are we looking at? That's 24-31. Uh, so it's not quite lethal, but it's getting close. I mean, I need to dump some cards anyway. So maybe we do that. No. I think we'll hold the Book of the Dead for surprises here, but let's get this while the board is open. Soften them up a little bit. Okay. I don't really feel like I need to play a, a pressure-based plan here. We will have inevitability. Brand Nelly is always really fun, but my hand is too full. I guess Nelly Ancient Reflections is also kind of fun. <laughs> but again, my hand is too full. They're back to 30. That's pretty good. Holy book. Um, I guess I brand Nelly and just dump some cards, maybe. Is that too greedy? I do get six, right? I think we get six. I'm I'm pretty certain that's how it works. I guess I don't know this 100%, but it's, is it worth burning a treasure is a, a question to ask. 
I don't know. This is good for smite. This is kind of good for axe, I guess, if we're going face. This is the best card. I don't know. Am I really not going to get a smite, dude? Dude, am I going to miss smite on six freaking tries? Like, dude. You're kidding, dude. I didn't get smite on six tries. Why do my opponents always get smites every time? And then extra ones off Juggernaut. I don't get it in six tries, dude. What? Uh, Nightox says, Reed is my girlfriend, Kayla, and I love your videos. Wow, thanks. Both have been playing Hearthstone since 2015. Oh, my God. You got, it's her birthday right now? Happy birthday, Kayla. Dude. Yeah, Age Reflections on this now gives me six minions. I guess. <laughs> six times seven, right? 42 minions available. <laughs> wild i don't know if this is worth burning a treasure now i thought with smite like if i lose embers you know it's worth it because i get you know a bunch of damage off smite but without smite if i lose embers i actually lose a ton of damage i don't know if that's worth it i mean i have the other kazakasan so it's not like it matters but it's just you know technically sometimes a net loss oh okay I don't know why that was the time to concede. I guess they didn't hit smite, they were thinking. Yeah, they probably wanted to hit smite there, and since they didn't hit smite, they gave up, yeah. 